film footage we have here is a colony of ants. There's over a thousand different types of ants in the United States. Many different shapes, sizes, and colors. This one happens to be a honey rump ant or a laziest ant. I can't quite determine which. Doesn't really matter. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm going to be tying a deer hair wing uh, flying ant pattern to mimic this hatch. Uh, at a certain time every year, these ants exit their colonies. The males and the females have wings. They fly off. They mate. The males die. The females find some way to establish themselves in that spot and form a colony. Uh, this happens, usually in this particular case, this is a three day or so hatch, usually happens on warm late summer days, uh, warm humid days with not so much wind. These, these uh, ants get blown into the river and they're like trout candy. All at once when they start coming down, you, you never know that there were so many trout in the river, but all at once they'll come up. It's a very, very, very um, uh, big hatch. It's a very, very exciting time if you happen to catch this on the water. So I can't emphasize enough the, uh, the advantage of bringing home a sample of, uh, of what bug it is you see or you, you choose to mimic. Uh, I do this. I, I put it down there, and as you can see, I looked at it floating. I looked at it crawling around. Uh, I matched up the materials based upon the size, the color, all the above. It just gives me the extra advantage. Now I adapted this fly. I use the uh, the uh, the deer hair for the wings. I like deer hair. It's very floatable. It gives a good profile. A lot of times these uh, these wings tend to be just a little bit beyond the, the the length of the body. You'd be able to determine the difference between an ant pattern and a termite. Termites are probably twice as long in the wings. Anyway, to bring home a sample. To take a look at it, that's what I usually do. I've made my uh, adaptations and created this fly based upon what it is I see. It's a very effective pattern on the water. Uh, as you can see, it, it, it mimics the, the ant pretty, pretty good. If you happen to be on the river when this hatch happens, it's exciting. It really is a great hatch. You wouldn't think that there were so many trout, but they all seem to show up for this one. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the pattern. Thank you very much for watching, and good luck with yours on the water.
hands on the window and a pain behind the eyes. Thank you.